Hey guys, it's and welcome back to some more live Pokemon Showdown. You guys liked it, so I was like, man, we can do more, why not? But, uh, yeah, bored again, so we'll just get some, and why not? So, match here, let's see. He's got a rain team, um, standard shit, so I think Breland would be the best leadoff, because even that Gengar is going to get hit hard by Bullet Seeds, so, I don't know, he's just going off of Politoed, so... I should just be able to fire off a Bullet Seed and anything that he could potentially bring in. Or even this Polytoad will just get its ass kicked. So, I'm perfectly fine with this play right here. And he just stays in and he is not faster, so I just take him out with Bullet Seed. Perfectly fine with me, because, uh, you know, Polytoad's out of the way. But now whatever he brings in, I can easily just destroy. Uh, Gyarados, Intimidate, not too huge because I am Choice Banded, so I might as well just fire off a Bullet Seed see what he wants to do. And uh, he does just go for Substitute, so that works out for me, because I can at least get two hits on him. Oh my god, that does a lot of fucking damage. Like, after the Intimidate, holy shit, 25%? That is good. That is really good. But I'm going to go to Rotom. He goes for Bounce, obviously enough. So, uh, you know, when you usually see Substitute, you usually see Bounce, but he wouldn't bring it into Breeding if he didn't have the Bounce. So, now I'm going to go for will -O because I know, obviously, uh, he'll just come back down and I can burn him and then that'll give me extra leeway to deal with the thing so if he wants to switch now he probably will actually the only reason I went for Willow is because I was pretty cool to switch out but I, then I forgot oh he's bounced whatever I get a burn on Gyarados uh if he wants to stay in it wouldn't be too smart for him but he does stay in and I thought he would just switch but whatever that's fine I can just kill him off the next turn he can't do too much damage to me anyway so it's not too huge of a deal and eventually, if I want to, I could go out to Gliscor predicting another bounce, but I'll probably just go for Waterfall to try and get as much damage. Or he's just Dragon Dancing. Makes literally no sense at this point, so I'll just kill him off. And then, uh, let's see, he'll probably want to go into, I would think, Breloom or Gengar. Maybe even Gastrodon, but if he goes into Gastrodon, that just gives me free pivot switching into my Breloom. But he goes into Gengar because, uh... Let's see, he could just disable this turn, actually. I didn't even think about that, but he goes for the Shadow Ball. I live it easily, and then, let's see, next turn, he can go for... Okay, he's not... Looks like he might actually be choiced, so I'm going to go to Porygon to uh, take a Shadow Ball, because that... Like, it didn't do that much, so considering that... Okay, he's Expert Belt or something? I don't even know, but that did a bit too much, and I got paralyzed. Not too huge, but that Focus Blast did a lot. Luckily, able to get the Discharge off, and I get paralyzed, but it doesn't really matter too much, because he'll outspeed me, obviously, next turn, but that does give me free lee leeway into whatever I want to come into, so actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Rotom, because then I can just hit him with a Thunderbolt, and uh, actually goes out to Gastrodon, forgot about that for a minute, but uh, I can see what he wants to go for with Gastrodon at the very least, and then eventually I'll just switch out, because the thing is... I don't know if he has Scald or not, so I'm going to go for will wisp to get the residual damage off. He does have the Scald, which is why I didn't want to go directly into Breloom. So what I can do here is I can just go for another will wisp and uh, should be fun times. But get the burn off, and he has a Lumberry. That literally makes no sense. Well, I mean, it makes sense, I guess, but not too much sense. But because of that burn, I can go for a Pain Split right here, so I'll just do that. And then uh, you're... Uh, healed up a little bit Rotom but now that it, Scald is doing a bit more than I would like but honestly at this point I kind of just want to sack Rotom because uh now I get the burn on him so uh because the thing is I want free switch advantage into my Breloom and uh looking at the rest of his team I should be able to take on his team with Breloom just fine so at this point it's just a matter of wearing myself down to wear him down but I don't know, I, I'm also half predicting him to randomly switch out predicting Breloom, but the thing is, once I'm able to get free initiative into Breloom, I'll have an easy time, so honestly, I should just be letting Rotom die, but I'm also wearing him down just in case he gets pressured to switch out so I can keep Rotom, you know? So, uh, he probably will just go for Scald here, but again, I don't want to risk, uh, risk, whatchamacallit, but he does just go for cover, but, uh, we'll just let him wear down my Rotom more, because that seems like the best option, yes, mm-hmm, and, uh, eventually he will kill me, or he's going out to Breloom right now, that's fine, um, that Thunderbolt does a good chunk, and honestly, I still have Landorus left, and I still have, he is Toxic Orb, okay, that's something I honestly did not expect, I honestly did not expect that one bit, 
But he goes for Spore, predicting me to switch out. Um, okay, lose your Breloom for no reason. That actually just gives me the game, basically, because... Let's see, if Gastronaut wants to come back in, that's perfectly fine. He could go into Cloister, but can't do anything with it. Like, okay, this move makes no sense to me. I guess he'll just try and kill me off without the Shell Smash, but... I mean, he can, because he gets a crit right there, but... Uh, yeah, he does kill me, which... Okay, that crit was the only reason actually he probably killed me, so... Now what I can do is I can go into Breloom, and like I was talking about before, I can just go for the Bullet Seed, and that will kind of destroy his whole entire team. Pretty sure I have Choice Band on this guy, right? Yep. So now he's going to go into Gengar's random Death Fodder. It's not like he needs it, because I win either way, so... Whatever. Because all I gotta do is just keep firing off Bullet Seeds, and, uh... Because I'm pretty sure this fucking Cloister is 2 KO'd, but he goes for... Uh, what? Is he Scarfed? There's no way... He must be Scarfed or something, because... That just made no sense. I is he Scarfed? <laughs> I know I kind of sound like a broken record there, but that seriously made no sense. Now I'm going to go check Cloister's speed, just because of that. But, because, yeah, there's no way he could do that. Well, I'm just going to go for another close combat, but, okay, I guess Cloister just naturally outspeeds Breloom. I didn't know that. I thought that Breloom outsped Cloister, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Um, That's that match, and uh, we're cool with that, so we'll go for... Another uh, match right here. Okay, so another rain team. Um, we'll just again go with Breloom because that seems like the best option. And it has been lately because, let's see. Rotom is more likely to be a Scarfer than it is Politoed. And actually, I could go for Low Sweep predicting the switch. But a lot of people lately have just been leaving in their Politoed to die, seeing that I have no weather. So uh, it's a tough choice because I could go for Low Sweep and 2 KO one of his guys. But... If he stays in and goes for something against my Breloom, there's kind of that risk there. But I'm going to go for Low Sweep being a dumbass. Oh, he does switch. He goes into Vaporeon, which would have died either way too. But okay, I still 2 okay KO him, but that's fine. And nothing on his team. Well, if he's like choiced in some way, because I don't see any leftovers there. So if he's choiced in some way, um, no way he can outspeed me now. So that works. And now he'll probably go into Tornadus to try and hit me with a Hurricane. And if he doesn't, I don't know what... Yep, there's the Tornadus. So let's see, we'll go out to Rotom, because if he is not Choice Specs, I only take about 40% from a Hurricane. So he is Life Orb most likely. He confused me, fuck. Um, okay. Well, I'm just going to go for a... Well, I... You know, let's just go for Thunderbolt, because he might be stupid, and he isn't. So he goes out to Fortress, which actually is kind of stupid in a sense, because now I can just Hydro Pump it. So, uh, goodbye Fortress, as long as I don't get confused, which I don't, but I miss... So now he gets up Toxic Spikes, um, literally two Pokemon are affected by it, so it's not that huge to me, because let's see, Breloom, it's hit and run anyway, so it's not like it's going to hurt me too much to have Toxic Spikes, there's the Stealth Rocks, which he should have gotten up in the first place, and he's basically lucky at this point to even be getting those up, so whatever, um, snap out of confusion, hit the Hydro Pump, get a crit, probably did not matter, and if it didn't, I deserved it. But, uh, now at this point, really nothing on his team... Okay, he's going into Thunderous like a dumbass. Because, at this point, bringing in Thunderous... Okay, he misses Focus Blast. It, that wouldn't have killed me. And, you know, you would have... Okay, I get a Paralyzed too. That fucking works. But, like I was just kind of saying, um... It, it wouldn't have killed me. And he would have brought, been brought down too much by life or damage. And if he wanted to try and stand and kill me, he, you know, would have lost, but at this point, he only had Rotom, Glisco or, uh, Scizor, and Politoed left. Breloom and Lucario could have cl cleaned those up. Also could have used, uh, Porygon 2 to do that, and Landorus, so really it was my game, but he left. So, uh, yeah, I'll just quick try and claim my win, and, you know, that'll be, uh, happy fun times. Is that my first match or my second match? I don't even remember. I'm not even keeping track. I'm so good at this. Oh, yeah, that was my second match, because of, yeah. So, we'll do, like, two more after this, because these first two have been pretty short, but... Honestly, that Parahex didn't really matter. The Focus Blast Mist might have, but... I mean, he... Like I said, he would have been too worn down from his stuff to really matter, so I still would have won no matter what, so... That's what happens. But, just claim my victory, and, uh, move on up in the world, because that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers. I haven't actually really eaten anything today. But, 
If I had Pringles and I had Cheerios, such a nutritious breakfast, right? But, uh, come on, can I have my win now? May I please have my win? Waiting for my win. Waiting, waiting, waiting for my win. Yay, I got my win. Woo, ooh, ooh. Alright, let's get into the match. Oh, yeah, that reminds me, Meloetta's released. Also, I figured something out today. Fucking, uh, Honchcrow can have, uh, what move is it? Honchcrow can have that one move I can't remember now. It can have Superpower and Heat Wave now with, uh, Moxie. I don't know. It's just something I realized today. Anyways, um, he's probably gonna lean off with the Sableye, so we'll just go off with Rotom, and we should be good from there. Actually, we could go out with Landorus, now that I think about it. Let's go out with Landorus. Because then I can just Earth Power him, and nothing on his team wants to take an Earth Power anyways, so... Hey, Conk Elder. Hey, look, I can Psychic it to death. <laughs> I've never gotten a chance to do that yet, but yeah! Psychic a fucking... Conk Elder to death. That is nice as fuck. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just find that kind of funny that I can psychic a conk elder. But now he'll probably want to bring in, you know, oh, Jolteon. That is going to have a uh, HP ice. So we'll go out to, uh, actually, let's go out to Porygon because that can take on uh, Jolteon just fine. And I get an attack boost. That's not good. But I can easily take that. And then I can fire off a uh, ice beam because I'm predicting him, yeah, to Volt Switch into his... Sableye. That's what I was kind of predicting, but he's probably going to go out to his Scrafty. Okay, that works for me. Because now what he can do is, let's see, okay, he has light, he's choice, mo well not choice, he's probably life orb, so I'm going to go out to Breloom, just to go for the Mach Punch, and I know there's a chance he'll probably just go out to Sableye for, uh, predicting my Mach Punch, but honestly, I'm not too caring about it. If he stays in, good, I get rid of the Scrafty. If he doesn't stay in, don't really give a fuck. But now, like I said, he'll probably want to go out to the uh, Sableye because, you know, it seems like I'm locked in, but also the fact that uh, nothing on his team wants to take him up. Well, also, what am I even trying to say? Okay, what I'm actually trying to say is the fact that I went for Mach Punch, then the thing is he has a Prankster Will-O-Wisp, so that's what I was trying to fucking say. I don't know why that was so difficult to say, but now I'm going to go to Rotom. I was thinking about going to Porygon, but then the thing is I can take on all his potential dudes. Plus, I was also thinking Landorus, but then he has that Jolteon with the balloon, so I can just fire up a Hydro Pump here. Will-O-Wisp Mist doesn't matter too much, because uh, it's a fucking Sableye. Uh, well, also, it's a fucking Rotom, too. I mean, Will-O-Wisp isn't going to hurt me too much, you know? So... We'll just fire off a Hydro Pump, and we'll see what he does. Probably get another match after this, because... Okay, he just keeps going for will -Wisp. Not like it really... Okay, missed. Useless turn right there. But it's not like it really matters if uh, he gets a will -O -Wisp off, like I said. I just need a little bit of extra damage on... Let's see. The Jolteon, for the most part. Because after that, I mean... Like, what I could do eventually is once a Sableye is out of the way, I can actually uh, go for low sweep on everything. Because if I'm able to get Alexam low on health, then I'll be good. But, let's see. So he's just going to keep going for the Recover, I think. So, what I could do here is go for the Will-O-Wisp. And, uh, yeah, he just goes for more Recovers. And Will-O-Wisp hits him. First time. Nice. Okay, but this Sableye is going to be a little bit annoying to deal with just because of the fact that he's recovering so much. So, uh, we'll just go for Hydro Pump, though. See what he has to go for. He's probably just going to go for... Oh, he's switching out to Alexam. That works. I was actually thinking about going to Gliscor there, but Alexander works too, because then that'll give my Breloom extra leeway, so I'll just go for Thunderbolt to take him out. Oh, he killed me with Psychic, okay. Um, Lucario, go into that and go for a uh, an Extreme Speed, and that'll easily take out the Alexam. but he goes out to the Sableye, which, okay, that's not too huge of a deal, I can just switch out, so, uh, yay, but... He should be defensive, so I should be able to go into Porygon and get a special attack boost. Or he's special defensive and I get a fucking another attack boost. Ugh. What is it with all these motherfucking attack boosts? Okay, we'll just recover up though. Okay, he just taunts me, that's fine. But now he'll probably want to go and go for the recover, but I'm going to go out to my uh, Gliscor and just get the rocks up. But he goes for foul play, that does nothing. But doesn't Foul Play prey on attack? The attack stat and not, like, something else? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go for Rocks. He goes for Taunt. Now, okay, that doesn't really matter too much to me, because he can't do too much to me. So, I'm gonna predict him to predict my Earthquakes. I'm gonna go for Ice Fang. And he's gonna switch out to his, uh, 
Uh, Jolteon, yeah. I can predict, guys, and I get a crit. Probably doesn't matter, really. But he'll probably just want to go for the HP Ice, so I'm just going to go out to Lucario, and if he Volt Switches, big fucking whoop, it won't do too incredibly much, but he just goes for the Hidden Power. Now, I could go for Ice Punch, predicting... Yeah, I'm going to go for Ice Punch. Nope, he just stays and goes for Thunderbolt, that's fine. I didn't really need Lucario too much anyways. Really just needed Breloom at this point, but kill him off. And, uh, now let's see. How much is my lander? Is that full? Okay, let's just go out to that. And he goes into Alexam. I should be able to take a hit, so I'm just gonna go straight for the Earth Power. And we'll see where it gets us. He goes for Psychic. I live it. Good. And now he'll probably want to go out to his, uh, Scizor. So we'll go out to Gliscor. All these cores. Alright, but, uh, no. Seriously. Oh, fucking crit. Okay, well, we'll just go for Roost, because, uh, Roosting. Yeah, that's a good explanation. Oh, he's SD. He is SD Gliscor, or er, Scizor. Why can't I uh, say shit, right? Okay, we'll just go for a bunch of Earthquakes, and, ooh, that does 44%. Okay, not too huge of a deal, considering, uh, okay, not gonna care too much, because now you're gonna be forced to switch when I bring in Breloom, and what the fuck item does he have? I don't even know. But, like I was just saying, I can go into Breloom, since I outspeed, I can go for a Mach Punch, if he goes out to the Sableye, big fucking whoop, but then he loses plus three, so he's not that threatening to me, so now I just kill him off with that, and then, uh, he's just gonna go into Sableye, I can go into Porygon, burned, yes, but, um, really just foddering at this point, cause Porygon isn't gonna be, well, I only need to bring in Landers just to take out the Sableye, so, uh, yeah, we'll just go for the Discharge, because it doesn't really... Actually, why'd I go for Discharge? I should have gone for Ice Beam. Yeah, that little bit might have been enough to bring it down, but no, because of the leftovers. But we'll just go for Ice Beam to try and get some more damage off. And really, I don't even need that much extra damage. I just need to kill him off with a uh, Earth Power from Landers. Ooh, it went down 45%. That's nice. That is really nice. But now he'll probably just go for Foul Play, or just go for another Recover. Yep, he just goes for another Recover. Again, like I said, I don't really need extra damage, so it's not too huge if that I get the extra damage. I just need to bring in something to kill him, you know? But I could go into Breloom or I could go into Landers. Let's just go into Landers because Landers is cool. And we'll just take him out with an Earth Power. Yay. And all he can do is go for Foul Play or go for Burn. Foul Play will not go first, so he can't take me out. And if he does somehow take me out, then I can just go into Breloom to take him out. But Landers just takes him out with an Earth Power, so that is good for me. And we'll get one more match going, because, uh, why not? Okay, so he is running rain, as everyone does. Let's just go with Breloom lead, and we should be able to work fine from there. But, uh, nothing on his team will want to take a bullet seed by the looks of it, so... Or a low sweep, for the most part. So, uh, the question is, do I want to predict him, or do I want to play safe? Let's predict. Let's be stupid and predict. Yeah, I was stupid and I predicted! And he stayed in him for Ice Beam. And, wow, he killed me. He must be Specs? Yep, Specs. Okay, um, Lucario. Nothing on his team wants to take a plus two extreme speed, so we'll just go for SD. Well, I mean, he does have stuff that would take it, but he can't really stop me from getting set up. So, I could go for plus three, but I don't really... Well, yeah, because I'm not even going to be able to kill everything if I go for plus three anyways. So, we'll just go for plus two, and everything should die. Yeah, might as well get a fifth match if I actually sweep everything, but something tells me something will live randomly, just to piss me off. Let's see, Latios. Well, obviously I can only extreme speed, and it doesn't live, and it looks like I'm just going to get a sweep, so we'll get one more match going after this. Oh, he just left because he was going to get swept. Okay. Well, like I said, we'll get one more match because uh, that was a sweep, and we want decent matches, right? I know you guys, you want decent matches. Okay, so he's running a sand team. Um... Well, not really Sandy, he's just running T-Tar and then a bunch of guys. So, we'll just go off with Breloom thinking on the notion of him leaning with T-Tar, wanting it in a sand up right away. Goes with Amongus, but I have speed and I can hit him with a Spore, so sleeping the Amongus. Who would have thought, right? <laughs> Alright, but now I can... He leaves. Ah, this is such an entertaining video. One more match, and hopefully this guy won't leave. Okay, so he's just running a bunch of stuff. Let's see, what is he going to lead with is a real question. Um, I think he might actually lead off with Dragonite, so I'm actually going to go and lead off with Porygon. And if he leads off with Sizzle... Alright, so he does lead off with Dragonite, I should get the attack boost. 
Alright, but we'll just Ice Beam to get some damage off. He goes for Outrage, does way too fucking much. But, um, the question is, do I want to switch? Because that looks like it's Choice Band and Dragonite, so... Uh, fuck it, let's just go out to Gliscor. Why did it right click? Alright, but we'll go out to Gliscor, and hopefully I can take an Outrage well enough. Did not take that well at all, but... Uh, let's just hope for some Confusion Hacks. But... Oh wait, this is Spade's team, isn't it? That structure looks strikingly similar to that one team Spade was running that one time. But, uh, he brings in Vaporeon. I'm just gonna go back out to, uh, I could go into Porygon, but I don't think I can take a hit. So let's go to Rotom, actually. And he should be able to take a hit. Yep, take a Scald. And no burn. Awesome. But now he's probably gonna want to switch out to his Lantern. So we'll just go for a Will-O-Wisp. But he stays in, and no big deal. I'm fine with getting that off. And now he'll probably want to go out to Lantern. So now I'll go out to, uh, Breloom. Yeah, let's just go out to Breloom. Why not? It's not like he'll really want to stay in to take a... Okay, he's going for Wishes. He's probably going to want to go out to Dragonite then, in that case, because Dragonite took some damage, obviously. So I'm going to Spore predicting the switch. It's a Latios. Oh, that works perfectly, too. So now that Latios is asleep. So now what I can do is I can go into Lucario, and uh, depending on what he switches to... Okay, he doesn't switch, so hopefully I can at least take one hit, get an SD up, but... If I can get an SD up, I have to get another sweep going, but he's going to go into his Vaporeon. Um, will not want to take an extreme speed, so we'll just go for that, because the thing is, uh, I don't want to get my defenses lowered, because if... Oh, fucking A, it lived? Really? I thought it wouldn't be able to live, but hopefully I can take this and not get burned. No burn, good. Okay, I can take him out with a uh, extreme speed, because what I was really fearing was him bringing in the Scizor and being able to live a close combat, but I was, I was being stupid. I mean, I shouldn't have done that. That was a really stupid play on my part, but it just means I won't get a sweep off, but he brings in the Dragonite. Extreme Speed will easily take the fucker out, so let's just go for that, and bye-bye Dragonite. But now, let's see. He can, he's probably going to bring in the Scizor and try and go for Bullet Punch, but if I did go for the close combat in the first place, I would be at a higher amount of health, but I think this Heatran is on a balloon. Okay, close enough. Let's just close combat it. I don't know, I took out half his team, and Scissor isn't really a huge concern to me. So, that's why I didn't really give a shit as much about the Scissor being uh, anything. So, let's see. Scissor will obviously go for Bullet Punch, but I'm going to try and live it. Or he just goes for something else. Okay. But now, I just got to bring in something to kill whatever he doesn't let me kill. So, <laughs> I guess we'll get one more match again, because another Lucario sweep, basically. Yeah, now I just need to bring in something to kill off the, uh, Latios. Alright, well, what can kill off a Latios? Oh, I can go to Breloom and go for some low sweeps, why not? <laughs> yeah, let's see. I'll, but, uh, yeah, so I guess, uh, I was gonna say also, I was gonna talk about Jolly, uh, Choice Band of Breloom, but the thing is, I found out, like, I was doing some calcs and I figured out after low sweep, you need to have Jolly Breloom to outspeed uh, Tornadus after the low sweep. So that's why I gave my Breloom Jolly. He is Scarfed Latios. But uh, took him out, so that is that match. And like I said, we'll do one more because... Uh, ooh, I'm at 1800. That's cool. But uh, yeah, we'll do one more because all those matches were kind of shit. And hopefully this one isn't kind of shit. But uh, what is he going to lead with? What is he going to lead with? I'm thinking either Haxorus, Metagross, or the Infernape. So let's go with Rotom. And he goes with Vaporeon. <laughs> Damn it, if I led with Breloom... Oh well. Um, let's go for Willow West predicting the switch. And why does why do people stay in like this? I don't I don't get it. I don't get the merit of staying in like that. But now I got him burned. Not too huge of an issue, but well for him, but I can just go for Thunderbolt. Try and kill off the Vaporeon. Does a good chunk. Scald. Okay. Doesn't do too much. Another burn! Cool. Or not another burn, just a burn. I don't know. Um Do I want to predict him to switch out or I don't really give a shit if Jolteon wants to come in. So we'll just kill him. And he is dead. But now he's going to bring in, I have no clue what. I'm thinking he'll want to bring in, like, Infernape or Jolteon. Maybe Haxorus. That, Haxorus is a bit of a long shot, but he might want to bring that thing in too. But Infernape to go for the close combat, and we'll see how much it does. If it kills me, okay, he goes for the U-turn. Now, what is he going to go to is the question. Probably going to want to go into Haxorus, predicting the uh, Hydro Pump, I would think. Yup, he goes into that. And Hydro Pump does a pretty good chunk, so that's okay. But now I'm just going to go for a will o -Wisp because, uh, you know, uh, burn the fucker. Because I'm not too scared of him. Yeah, he just get, sets up an SD. I can outspeed him with uh, Landorus, so 
that's, like I said, I'm not too caring about it. Okay, he sets up a dragon dance. Now I'm caring! But, I miss again. Great. Thanks, game. Thanks a lot. He probably has a Lumberry, so that's probably why he's setting up so much. But he set, locked himself in Outrage. Now, um, yeah, Mach Punch should be able to take him out, I would think. So, we'll just go out to Breelum, go for the Choice Bane and Mach Punch. Does not kill him, but, fuck. Yeah, he's probably carrying the Lumberry, which is why he was okay with setting up so much. And there's the Lumberry. Okay, well, we'll go out to Lucario and take him out with the Extreme Speed and be all fine and dandy. And Extreme Speed takes him out, obviously enough. And now the Infernip is going to worry me a little bit just because of the fact that I know it's probably... Uh, okay, he goes out to Metagross. So we'll go out to Discord and we'll see what he does. He's probably just going to go for Hammer Arm. Okay, that works. Um, I'm going to go for Rocks because why the fuck not? And he might actually go for rocks too. Yep, he goes for stealth rocks. And let's see, should I predict this switch to his, uh... No, I'm not going to predict anything. I don't really give a shit if Gliscor wants to come out or not. So we'll just go for the earthquake. And whatever happens, happens. If he goes to Gliscor, I, I can switch out to Landorus. Or I can even go to Porygon. So it's not that huge if Gliscor comes out. So we'll just stay in and go for the earthquake. And I am hungry. I need something to eat. But he just stays in and goes for Meteor Mash because... He does not want to switch. Oh, but that Meteor Mash did a lot. I am not okay with how much damage that did, honestly. But why would I be okay with it? But that is really doing a lot. Even for a Metagross, I mean, that's doing a lot to a Gliscor. But then again, I'm not running as much defensive investment as I could because I actually put a... Uh, changed Gliscor's EVs around a little bit from the standard spread to actually at speed a uh, Jolly Breloom. So, I don't know. I thought it'd be a good idea, but I don't run Acrobatics, so it might not actually be that good of an idea. But I don't know, whatever. Bullet Punch... Does not do that much, so I can kill him. But now the question is, what is he going to bring in? And the second question is, what is that thing going to do to me? Because, let's see, he'll probably want to bring in either... Well, he can bring in anything at this point, because, let's see, Gliscor could go for the uh, Ice Fang and maybe set up on me. Jolteon, that obviously has the HP Ice now, so that's going to worry me a little bit. So I'm just going to go for Earthquake, see if he actually has the HP Ice or not, and, or see if he's just trying to bluff me. Because Gliscor at this point isn't going to be that useful, but he does have the HP Ice. Now... Does he have the Life Orb? Wait, no, he doesn't have the HP Ice. So actually, I can go to Landorus right here and hit him with an Earth Power. But he might actually predict me to be Scarfed. So I'm going to go for the Psychic. Predicting the, uh... Yeah! Glow Score coming in! Haha! <laughs> I can't believe I got that right! <laughs> and I got a crit that didn't matter. Ah, oh, game. And now Jolteon comes back in, and he did not have the HP Ice, so he can't take me out with anything. So I'm just going to go for Earth Power to try and kill him. And he gets a crit! Great! Thanks, game! I'm um, gonna go out to Lucario. And uh, we'll just hit him with the extreme speed to take him out. Which should take him out. Because he's at half. So I should be able to kill him. You know, if I brew him right now, I'd be in a lot better of a situation. But then again, it really doesn't matter that much. But I don't know. Whatever. Um, Just go for extreme speed. Obviously, take out the Jolteon because Jolteon has no defenses to speak of. But now Infernape comes in. And the only thing that worries me about Infernape is. The fact that he's probably going to lock himself into close combat, so knowing that I have Porygon 2 left, so I'm actually going to go to Porygon 2, just in case he does go for that close combat. If he doesn't, yep, he goes for it, because then I actually have a chance to take him out with extreme speed, so that's kind of why I wanted that uh, close combat damage. So hopefully, well not damage, but wanted, and he's a choice banded, I think, but we'll just go for extreme speed, hopefully I can take him out, because after that defense drop, I should be able to after life orbs, so, well my life orb boost is what I mean. But hopefully, I don't know why he's taking so long to make a move. Oh, he's saying very good play in the chat. Fucking A! <laughs> oh, well. That, that was still a good match, though. It was, there's a little bit of hacks in there, but it was still a fun match. So, yeah. Damn it, I dropped down from 1800, but... Oh, well. That was the end of uh, the, the live stuff. So, uh... Hope you guys enjoyed that stuff. Um, I'll try and do more eventually. Maybe I'll do some while I'm actually not doing LP parts, or when I am doing LP parts, rather, and uh, I don't know if you like it, whatever, but I hope you guys enjoyed, like, such, such, blah, or comment, sub, and later, guys.